What's up everybody, Craig here. Uh, it's that time of the year again. Uh, Yosemite just released last week. That's OS 10.10. And every year I like to do a clean install. Uh, I like to back up my documents, my pictures, my movies, my music, all that good stuff on a hard drive. I completely wipe uh, the previous operating system in, in my solid state drive. And then I load a fresh copy of Yosemite which is the current operating system on and then I put my pictures, my movies, uh, my programs, reactivate them, all that good stuff and uh, and then I'm, I'm starting fresh so uh, very very useful to do um, you'll prevent your computer especially if you have a hard drive um, you'll you won't need to defrag it you can just uh, reformat it and um, go about it that way but uh, you want to use my way you want to use my way well, not my way, but uh, this way of installing the operating system. Because if you go by the other folks, uh, there's some other folks doing it out there, and they're showing you how to uh, show hidden files, hide hidden files, uh, basically mount the the uh, DMG file onto a thumb drive. If you do that, you won't get to install a recovery partition and you need that if you want to use Find My Mac. Find My Mac is a very useful tool. You can uh, wipe your computer if it gets stolen. You can locate if it gets stolen. Very, very useful tool. So you want to be able to do that. Not to mention, this way is way easier. Uh, so pay attention. What you're going to need is you're going to need to go to the App Store and download the Yosemite uh, install app. And you'll also need a, a thumb drive, 8 gigs, or higher. So as long as you have those two uh, things and you have your system all backed up you're ready to start so just follow me uh, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to uh, show you that when you download the Yosemite app it's going to look like this actually when you download the Yosemite app it's gonna try to throw you right into this right away instead of hitting continue you're going to hit command Q to quit okay you don't need it you just need it on your operating system you, you just need it installed okay you need it to be right there uh, you need to be in your application folder and then you're ready to go I've already done this as you can see I've already done your semi I'm, I'm going to do a friends Mac mini um, so this is my install um, and, and no it's not just drag and drop so don't do that um, I'm going to show you how to do it but you need your 8 gig thumb drive inserted you're going to open disk utility you're going to go to your thumb drive you're going to hit erase make sure it's in Mac OS extended journal you hit erase it's fine if it says untitled because it's going to name it that anyway so go ahead and erase okay once it's done you're going to command Q out of that and I'm basically going to do a couple things. The, the there's a command to, uh, to this, and uh, basically because YouTube likes to screw up the command, I'm going to paste in the description, and the format will be off. It'll be some HTML format. So when you go to copy and paste it into uh, terminal, it'll screw up because it's it's wrong formatting and spacing, and the the command line is going to be screwed up. Uh, what I want you to do is I'm going to put a link to this website in there and this is how I did my uh, Mavericks install and so you're going to highlight this you're going to copy uh, which would be command C alright so after I copied it from that website you're gonna paste it into a Word document I got it in pages okay this is pages I pasted it once and then I pasted it again however as you see this is from when I did Mavericks so right here and right here it says Mavericks. I want you to change that and put it right here and right here to reflect Yosemite. And when you do, you're going to highlight this. You're going to copy. You're going to open Terminal. Okay. And you're going to paste Command V. Enter. Ask you for. Oh, there it goes. Since I don't have it set to a password and all that stuff, usually ask for your password. Uh, and if it does that, uh, you just put in your administrator password and it goes. But looks like I didn't need it for this. Uh, you put in that command 
line and it will start running this. So that's as easy as it gets, okay? There's no showing or hiding files. You just copy and paste the command line into terminal with your eight gigabyte or higher flash drive plugged into your computer computer and formatted to Mac OS its journal and you're cruising. It does it for you. It does everything for you and when you install you'll be able to have a recovery partition and be able to use uh, Find My Mac uh, and if you did it the other way you would not be able to do that. Uh, would not install a recovery partition so uh, this, is, this is the best and most efficient way to do it um, so just stand by and I'll show you how to install the uh, OS 10 Yosemite once this is finished All right, so don't eject it until you see this right here. It's going to say done, and then it's ready for a new command. Once it is, you can command Q out of this, command Q out of that, and secondary click and hit eject or drag it down here and eject. And then you have your install USB, and you're ready to install. All right, once you have your USB thumb drive installed, which is right there, okay you're going to press power and then you're going to go to your keyboard and you're going to hold option and so this is what you're going to be looking at and if you're holding option you're going to see a yellow uh, USB symbol come up okay you're going to go to it here let me get my mouse pad I have a mouse set up for this. You're going to go ahead and go. Why are you just going up and down? Okay, evidently this thing wants to go up and down, so now I'm just going to use tab. Okay, so um, I use tab, and now I'm going to use enter, and here we go. And it's going to load up. Alright, so as you can see, um, when you're done loading up, it'll bring you to this, okay? So I'm going to press the return key as it told me to do. And it's choosing. Okay, here we go. All right, my mouse is working now, so that's good news. Okay, um, you could, sometimes it brings you to this, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but basically, what you want to do is you want to run disk utility. So if you don't see the disk utility option, it will be up here in the, here, let me focus on it. There we go. In the utilities menu. So just to do that, I'm going to go to utilities and then, well, disk utilities down there. But if disk utility didn't show up down here, okay, it would be up there in utilities. Okay. So um, the reason why it's here is because this is called OS 10 utilities. But the biggest thing you want to do is you want to open disk utility. And so that's what I'm going to do. So disk utility is now opening up. Okay. Let's try to focus a little better than that. Okay. And as you can see, I got a one terabyte uh, Macintosh HD. Okay. What I want to do is I want to wipe that sucker right now. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit erase. Okay. I'm going to erase it make sure you're in Mac OS extended journal and now the operating system which was Mavericks that was on this before is gonna go bye bye everything's going bye bye so I'm gonna erase it and now that we did that I'm going to exit out and I'm going to install OS 10 Yosemite I'm gonna hit continue and then it's going to ask me what I want to install it on in a minute after I agree to these terms. Hopefully it doesn't turn me into a human centipede. And you're going to click Macintosh HD and next install. And right now this is going to go through the process. Uh, you're going to see that it's going to say like seconds remaining or something and it's going to stay that way for a while. So just have patience with this, walk away, eat an apple, do something, have a coconut smile, and come back when it's done. But it will go through and it will finish and it'll get done 
and you will have a clean install of Yosemite on your computer. That's it, that's as easy as it gets. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more things, but as far as a clean install of Yosemite, you're done. All right, so I said I'd show you something cool. Um, so if you have a boot camp partition right here, so this is my uh, regular hard drive that's running my uh, Mac OS 10 Yosemite. This is my uh, stock hard drive that uh, is in my data doubler. I run two hard drives, this one and this one. And here is my boot camp partition. So um, if you're like me and you like having a boot camp partition and you have stuff on there you want to keep, activated programs, uh, there's a cool program called WinClone. So this is WinClone. Okay, I'll delete this out of here. Um, and basically what WinClone does is it clones your um, boot camp partition exactly the way it is. Uh, and uh, basically when you're done doing your clean, clean install, you could just click restore and it puts your boot camp partition exactly the way it was, the way you left it, all nice and pretty and uh, you, you most likely won't even notice a difference. Um, the cool thing about this program is that instead of doing a system image which would take up a hard drive or a partition of a hard drive, this one actually turns it into a file. So if you look into my October backup, which is in my, uh, it's in my uh, data doubler hard drive, uh, I go to my October backup and then there's my October wing clone which I use for my OS X Yosemite restore. Uh, to put my boot camp partition back the way it was. Well, um, I'll just go through this process so you see how it works. Um, I'll go ahead and delete that, but uh, I will go ahead now and click on boot camp, click image, image, keep, and then this will be my November. Wing clone, clone, whatever. Okay, and I will save it here. And we'll go with that. Okay, and just stand by. After you're done doing your um, wind clone backup, you should get a little window that says this. That means you're good to go, and your clone will now be where you put it, which was. Oh yeah, sorry. Here it is. So here's my clone, and then it's already in here. But if you wanted to back up from it, you would create. I guess I'll do that for you, real quick. Let me go ahead and open Disk Utility, and here's my hard drive. Going to take away this partition or how about this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna erase it I'm gonna go ahead this is my boot camp partition I'm gonna erase it but when you erase it you want to make it into fat32 I know it's tempting when you see that Windows NT file system but you actually want it fat32 so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my boot camp partition Okay, it's in FAT32. So right now, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click. Now, this is what I just erased. And I'm going to click Restore. Um, now, if you were to do this from scratch, instead of me erasing it, what I just did to show you, you click on this, you click Partition, you create a partition, which is click on your main. Mac hard drive and then clicking the plus button um, however I'm not going to do that but now I'm going to restore place BCD files and just let it do its thing alright so after all is said and done and you have restored you should get a uh, message looks like this I'm just going to hit OK so I'm not going to boot up into Windows but your Windows partitions back the way it was, all programs activated, just like the way you used to know it. So I really, really, really like this uh, Wing Clone. It's pretty dang awesome. So uh, you might want to pick it up if you like having a boot camp partition. Um, 
So, that's all I got for you guys today. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Take care.